Sometimes you're doing something and you want your screen to stay on longer than whatever you have it set. Maybe it's a minute or 30 seconds and you want it to stay on for a while so you can see what you're doing. Caffeine is an app that goes in your quick settings tile and all you gotta do is tap it and you can add five minutes screen on time, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or just keep it on infinitely and then turn it off when you're done. So it's a really quick and easy way to change your screen on time without going into the settings and changing it permanently. It's called Caffeine. Gratis is an app that aims to remind you of the things that you're grateful for. So when you open the app, you get this little timeline of things that you can add. So here's one, I added a picture of my uh, dog Cheddar. If you wanna add something, just tap the plus button. You can tag things. So let's, let's say that I'm thankful for some food. I'm thankful for pizza. And then you can add a picture or take a picture if you want. You can change the little icon here, so I'll change it to food. Tap save. And then you can go into the options and every day you can get a reminder of one of these things. So uh, maybe you're feeling down uh, or maybe you just want a daily reminder that there are good things in your life. You'll see this pop up in your notifications, something that you're thankful for, and then it'll remind you. So it's just a kind of a nice little app to just remind you of things in your life that are good in case you need a reminder of that. It's called Gratis. Read is a very simple, bare bones RSS reader. It doesn't have a ton of fancy features, but it does what you need. So here's the unread screen here, just pulling things from all my subscriptions. I can open up the menu and here are my subscriptions. So we've got Fandroid right here. This is what an article view looks like and I can go to the website from there. If I wanna add some more, I just go to add. Here are the ones that I've got. Go over to feed and search for something. Say I wanna add the wire cutter. There we go check that and now it's going to be right here in my feed and so it's just very simple you still got some pictures and stuff right here um, but the UI is pretty clean it's easy to use doesn't have a lot going on if you just want a very simple RSS reader this is a good one hurry is a beautifully designed countdown app by the same guy that made weather timeline and flamingo for Twitter and so here you can see I have a few countdowns set up and they're very beautiful they use gifs uh, as the background, you can get gifts from Giphy. It's not playing right now. Um, but so you get your, your basic readout here of how long until the event. And then there's a little mini game. So you can see how long in like different words. So uh, 77 million hours of YouTube to be uploaded uh, or 13 million hours of YouTube. Uh, we'll go 13, it got it right, so there we go. Uh, you can also share it and then you can adjust the notifications. Um, and then to create one, just hit the plus button. So let's say I want to do one for my birthday. So put birthday there. Uh, it is a birthday. Choose the date, October 9th. You can choose the time as well if you want. Um, and then see when it repeats. And then you add add event. And now I can search for a cool GIF. Uh, so let's use this silly cat one here. And there we go. We're done. So birthday is right there. There are also a bunch of different widgets that you can use. Here I've got them. Uh, here's a scrollable one. Here's uh, one that you can scroll through as well. Um, so it's called Hurry. It's just a really simple and beautifully designed countdown app. But sometimes you have an app icon that doesn't match, say, the theme that you're using, or maybe you're using an icon pack, and one of the apps that you have, uh, they don't have an icon for that. Well, Adapticons is an app that allows you to create special icons for any app that you want. So you open it up and all you're gonna do is you're gonna find an app. So let's say I wanna do clip it. Um, and so you get several options here and you can see it automatically uh, gave me a shape that's a rounded square. I can change it to a circle. A uh, bunch of different uh, shape options here. We could do the crazy cloud, uh, squircle. Uh, and then you can go to the size so I can make it bigger, which is kind of a cool look there. Uh, you can also adjust the position a little bit. Uh, the color and then you can do things like change the icon so maybe you want to bring in an icon from another icon pack you can do that and then you're done you just hit save we'll add it to the home screen and there it is now I can put it in here and it's gonna match uh, whatever I have else going on so if you use icon packs or you like to have really customized icons Adapticons is a great app teleport is a photo editing app that specializes in changing the background and the hair color in photos. So first thing obviously is to take a photo. So we'll do that. And then it's going to kind of process, it's gonna figure out what's the background, it's gonna figure out what your hair is. All right, so it's done and right away it 
gave my hair a red color um, and I can go through a bunch of these so here's green um, then you can go over to the background and it knew what the background was uh, it was a little bit off by my ear there uh, but it's pretty good most of the time uh, you can just swap through these so you got hair for color you can also do collages you can do background blur which is cool um, if you want to get kind of like that portrait mode uh, effect you can adjust that there or you can just upload a custom background so this is called teleport and it's kind of a cool photo editing app Touch Bar is an app that puts a little bar across the body of your screen with settings and toggles and stuff like that. All you have to do to bring it up is you swipe from the corners and here you can see I have brightness control, volume control, notification control, and I can do a Google search. I can also swipe and now I've got media controls and I can swipe back to that. So when I just tap on these, I get the option and I can do this just like you normally would. Here we got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, orientation lock. So there's a bunch of different things that you can do with Touch Bar. We go into the settings and you can choose how it looks. You can choose what shortcuts are there. You can choose uh, if it's gonna auto hide and stuff like that. Really customizable, really useful. You get quick actions here at the bottom of your screen. Whatever you're doing, they're always just a swipe away. It's called Touch Bar. Daily is a task management app built around your day. So this is focused on just what you have to do for this day. And so you can see here right on the screen, uh, incomplete tasks three, task after deadline zero, task due today three, and duration of incomplete tasks. So that's kind of cool because it tells you how long it's gonna take to do all the tasks that you have to do today. And I can swipe over here, here are my actual tasks. You have a name, when they're due, and how long they're gonna take. And one of the cool features is availability. So let's say that I'm gonna be available uh, for the next uh, you know, 30 minutes or so. So we'll do that. And then it's gonna tell me what I have time to do. So I have time to feed the dog, I could go do that, cross that off. And then if I'm busy again, I just tap I'm busy and then we're good. So I've completed two tasks today, I can see that. Uh, I've fed the dog and I took out the trash, pretty productive. Um, you can also see uh, unstarted tasks, I haven't have any of those. Uh, and here's the plan again. So if you just like to get things done in your day, you wanna know how long it's gonna take to get all that stuff done, and if you have the certain parts of your day where you have free time to do stuff, this is a really handy to-do list app called Daily. Discount Calculator is a dead simple app that does exactly that, it's a discount calculator. So you can see right here off the bat, we've got 15%, 25%, 50%, and 70% off. All you gotta do is put in a price here, so 25.99, boom, I can see all the different uh, discounts that I'll get. If there's a weird discount, like you know, I have a 35% off, uh, we can put that in here and now I can see that one as well. So just really dead simple. If you don't want to do the simple math of figuring out a discount, just put in this app here and you can see it real quick. Archwalls is a simple wallpaper app, but the cool thing about Archwalls is all the wallpapers in this app are completely custom and made for this app. So the wallpapers that you see here are not going to be anywhere else. So that's pretty cool because uh, you can get these wallpapers here um, and you're going to get a really unique look for your phone. So a lot of them right now have this like um, kind of cool wavy design, um, but new wallpapers are added every week. To apply one, you just tap on it. You can see it in full screen. We're gonna tap the little paint roller button and it's gonna put it on our home screen. Boom, there you go. So it's called Arch Walls. If you like unique looking custom wallpapers, check out this app. Saraha is a really popular app right now. Um, if you haven't heard of it, what it is is basically an anonymous uh, messaging app. It's almost like adding a comment box to yourself, pretty much. You create an account and then you have a public uh, URL and anyone can send you a message on there and you don't reply to the message or anything like that. It's basically just someone leaving a comment uh, on something they want to say to you. So here's just one that I sent myself just for an example. Uh, you look like you're half asleep, which is a comment that I receive quite a bit. Um, but that's it. And then you can, you know, you can flag it if you want. Uh, you can uh, block the user that sent it, um, send it somewhere else, or you can favorite it. You can also search for other users. It's just really simple. If you want to send something to me, there's my URL. Don't make me regret showing it. Uh, this is called Saraha. Street Hunt is an app, kind of a game. 
Um, what it does is it turns your regular everyday walks into a scavenger hunt kind of. So when you set it up, you just choose how far you want to go and how often the location will be updated. Uh, and then you just hit start hunt and it's going to start finding somewhere in my vicinity in that area. And it's going to show me a picture. So here's a picture and it's just some random house. I have no clue where this is. Um, and it gets this from Google Maps, Street View. And what I have here on the bottom is like this distance meter. And all I have to do is start walking. Just start walking in any direction. And that will tell me if I'm getting closer or further away. So it's kind of like the hot and cold game. Um, and you just try to find this place. And then when you do, uh, the game's over and you win. So it's called Street Hunt. If you want to add some adventure into your everyday walks, check this app out. Launch Space is Hard is a very aptly named game because space is hard in this game. All you do is you're launching a rocket and you're trying to get it to go as high as you can. But as you're going to see here, uh, it does not want to stay straight. Uh, so you have to tap on the left or the right side of the screen to kind of get it to go straight. Um, but it's, it's really, really hard to get it to go straight as you can see. I'm not just terrible at this game, it actually is this hard. Um, but there's these little diamonds on the side. Okay, I just crashed. And that kind of keeps track of how high, high you're going. Um, so I just got two right there, but my high score is 28. Once you get high enough, um, there's also a thing that'll pop up uh, that'll let you do another uh, action. Um, but it's really hard to get all the way up there. Um, okay, there, I just crashed again. Uh, it's called Launch Space is Hard. It's difficult, but it is fun and it is addictive. Kubo is a game all about colored blocks. So you have this block on the bottom here, this cube, and you can rotate it and you see that the colors on the sides are different. And if I hit play, there's gonna be colors coming down from the top. So green, I need to get the green face up so that it lands on that. Okay, I just lost. Um, so that's the idea is you get the colored cubes that are falling from the top to land on the correctly colored face of the cube on the bottom. And you can move it around like this, uh, but it's kind of hard to get it in the right spot. And you have to remember where the colors that you want are on the cube so you can get to them quickly. Now as the game progresses, the sides of the cube will change colors and the cubes will start falling faster and it gets a little bit more difficult. So let's just see how far I can get here. Okay, there a purple just came in. Uh, okay. Um, so my record is 13. It's a pretty difficult game, but it is fun and it's called Cubo. If you like mini putt, you probably are gonna like Vista Golf. This is a just really well designed and simple to play mini putt game. All you do is you're gonna grab inside of the circle and pull back in the direction, opposite direction that you wanna shoot. And there we go. And you can also use your finger to kind of pan around and look at where the hole is. So let's see if I can get this one under par here. It might be a little too hard. It shows the numbers for the strength so you kind of know how hard you're hitting it. Get in there, get in there. Oh, just missed it. Uh, let's see if I can par this. Get in there. All right. Hard hole one. And so that's just basically how it goes. All the holes are like this. Um, but one of the cool things about this is there's a weekly uh, challenge basically. So you can play these courses and then put your score in and every week three winners are chosen and they get new courses. So if you like competitive uh, mini putt games, this is a really good one. It's really well designed. It's called Vista Golf. Hazy Race is a really fast paced and simple uh, addictive game. So you're this little bouncy guy and you're trying to bounce on the towers. Now he will automatically just bounce for you. Your job is to tap the screen when you want him to quickly bounce down on the tower. And the towers are moving back and forth and the different sizes. So you got to really time when you want to do that to hit the tower. Oh, see I did it too early there. I missed it. Let's try it one more time. My high score is 37 if you want to try to beat that. Coming back around, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, there's a small one. Oh, shoot, 24, not bad. So it's called Hazy Race, and it's just a really quick and easy uh, addictive game. Peace Out is a puzzle game all about getting pieces into the right spot. So we can do a simple level here. I have to get these this red block to the red spot on the top, and I can move this one out of the way by tapping it to rotate. 
swipe it up and there you go. That's a very simple example of what you have to do. But if I go to a harder level, you can see that there's much more to it. So we've got this blue shape and this red shape that I can move. The blue one I can move side to side, the red one I can move up and down, and then the green one I can only rotate. And I have to get that red square to the red square. So I need to try to figure out how to move this one here. And there we go. Simple as that. So as you play, you know, you get more shapes uh, and things like that and the uh, spaces get difficult. So here I have a two block one that I have to get into the right spot. And again, this one can only rotate. The purple one can move side to side. The blue one can rotate and move. There we go. So this is called Peace Out. It's a great puzzle game. Speedy Racer is another simple game. This one is just a racing game and all you do is you tap to move from lane to lane to avoid the cars and you see how many cars that you can avoid. Uh, my high score is in the 40s, I think. Um, and so, you know, the cars, they come in different uh, orders. So you got one, 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 and then you got two. Uh, so it kind of tries to like throw you off with patterns and stuff like that. Uh, the gaps between cars will also get smaller uh, as you get further on. So the difficulty gets up, the speed gets up, um, but it's just a simple game, tap back and forth uh, to avoid cars and see how long you can go. My high score is 44, there you go. See if you guys can beat that. Jazz Smash is a game that is kind of like Fruit Ninja, um, where you're smashing stuff that's falling from the screen, but in this game, you are doing it to the beat of some jazz. So I'm gonna hit start here and see if you can hear the music. Oh, I just missed. Basically, you just try to see how long you can go, but it's really satisfying because a lot of games, they try to use patterns to screw you up. You know, they'll get you in a pattern and then they'll change the pattern to try to fool you. But this game, you can just fall right into the beat. You can get going with it and it just feels really good to get a big string. 3D Box looks a lot like Tetris and it is but there are a few couple differences that make it harder. So you can't rotate the pieces at all and they don't slowly fall from the top, which means you can't do that trick in Tetris where you kind of slide it in quickly from the side to fill in a gap. And all you do is you drag your finger, you put it, let go, and then it's gonna drop there. Uh, and like I said, you can't rotate these at all. So you just have to fill in the gap with what you're given. And like Tetris, you want to get a full line across so that it will remove that row and then that's how you uh, stay from getting all the way to the top because when you reach the top, obviously you lose. Um, you get pieces uh, that are random and you can see up in the top, it tells you which one's coming next, which is helpful. And also after you drop a piece, you can tap it and blow it up if you want to kind of do like an undo. Um, but that's basically it. It's called three box uh, and it's just Tetris, but a little different, a little bit more tricky.